Coach, how do you get your team ready from a coaching perspective when uh, you have so many injuries? Like, how does it affect them psychologically? How do you handle that? Well, if we have enough time, I think they can figure out a way to handle it if we have enough time. But when it happens, like, you know, during a game, early on, I, I think it can affect, especially when it's somebody that's, you know, averaging 25 a game, whatever. Um, I think it puts it puts people in a tough spot because now all of a sudden it dawns on them, I have to, I have to make the shots that we normally would get from somebody else. I have to score more points. I, and um, it, it, it's daunting on the road against a really good team. Um, you know, and I, they, they, the staff, you know, we get reminded all the time of just how many points we're sitting on the bench today. And uh, it's December, though. And, you know, you have to take it like it's a long season and you don't win national championships or lose national championships December 4th. But you do get to find out what it is that can help you down the road win one or can prevent you from winning one down the road. So um, winning the game would have been great tonight. It would have been, I mean, this afternoon, it would have been an awesome win here against a really, really good team. Um, but the next best thing to winning the game was we kind of got a, a glimpse of, like, what could happen if we don't, you know, if we don't make up for whatever it is missing, you know, and we'll get Dorka back, obviously that'll help a lot. We'll get AZ back, you know, so that'll help a lot. But um, just because you get players back, some of the things that we, we did today that hurt ourselves, those aren't going away just because you add a couple more players, you know. So there's a bunch of things that we need to fix, and it became evident today for sure.